how to identify the variables in science experiments. We know from our other video that a variable is a factor that needs to be thought about before we carry out our experiments, and that there are three main variables, being the independent, dependent and control or controlled variables, which we remember their names by, I don't care. But what do these words represent? Let's use this, our classroom model, which helps us to think about the variables in our experiments and is simply a teacher stood in front of a classroom full of students. The first variable is represented by the teacher instructing the class, telling the students what to do. The teacher is in charge and there is one teacher because the one factor that we change in experiments is the independent variable. The teacher is in charge, representing the independent variable which we change. Wow! The second variable, as shown in our classroom model, looks at the teacher's feet, but they have no footwear on. Our teacher likes boots, especially DM boots. D M boots, with D for dependent and M for measure reminding us that the dependent variables are those that we measure. The third variable to consider, and as shown in our classroom model, is that the teacher is in charge of the room and the students, so they are being controlled, the teacher ensuring that they all do the same. So modelling our third variable, that the controlled variables are those that we keep the same. That's amazing! Our classroom model of a teacher instructing their students, the teacher being in charge, the independent variable that we change, the teacher also wearing DM boots, reminding us that the dependent variable is the one that we measure, and the students, representing the controlled variable, are all doing the same. Aren't the variables easy to remember now, using our classroom model of a teacher instructing their students, helping us to identify the variables in science experiments. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!